Well, welcome to Presto Paul TV. If this is the first time you're checking out my channel, I am your host, Presto Paul. And on this channel, I teach you the best tricks, tips, and techniques on how to do magic for beginners. We're gonna have some fun today. As a matter of fact, our motto is right over there. You gotta have fun because you'll live longer. I'm gonna show you a really cool coin trick with the heads or tails uh, game. And then if you stick around to the end, I have a little bonus for you. I'm not gonna tell you quite what that is just yet, but stick around and you'll be sure that you are glad to stay to the end. Hey, let's jump right into the magic. All right, let's play a little game of heads or tails. Let me grab some coins out of my pocket here and I'll just, uh, we'll take a quarter. It's probably easier to see a quarter. All right, your guess is what is gonna count and you just have to choose whether it's heads or tails or none of the above. Where'd the coin go, you ask? Well, check it out. It's right over here in my pocket. Find out how to do this little trick and stick around for a bonus at the end of this video. So here is a super fun, quick, impromptu trick that you could do anywhere at any time with a pocket full of coins. Either you could borrow the coins if you want. We'll get all into that in just a second. But before we jump into that, I want to tell you, set this up just a little bit. Uh, Harry Houdini once said that a magician is an actor playing the role of a magician. There's a whole lot of acting that's going on in this little routine as you're about to see. So here's what you need. You need a pocket full of coins. Again, you could borrow the coins, gather coins from friends sitting around the table or whatever, uh, toss them back and forth. And you wanna make sure people see you have a bunch of little coins in there. And then you're going to uh, take a coin out of your hand and you can put the rest of the coins away and you're gonna do the trick. But you did not take that coin out of your hand because this is part of the acting. First, we're gonna do the acting of sight. And in a moment, we'll be sound. So just pay, pay attention real quick. So to practice this, all you wanna do is have a pocket full of change, grab a quarter for real, so you know what it feels like, and actually hold that coin in your hand and actually let it drop into your hand and just kind of let it bobble around in there so you can pantomime what you're doing with the coin. Because in a minute, you're going to do the same thing and you're not going to take that coin, but it's going to look like you took the coin, but you did not. So you just put your hand on top of the coin like you're going to pick it up, hold it in this hand, put these coins south into your pocket, and you can just bobble this for a second while you're getting ready to toss the coins back and forth. I'm going to keep a quarter out here so you can see this next part. Uh, so we don't have one in here now, but to practice this portion, I want you to take a real coin and actually throw it super hard into your hand, from hand to hand, from left to right, back and forth. What you want to get down is the sound of what that coin makes when you're throwing it in the hand. So I'll be quiet for a second and listen to the coin fall on the floor. So that sound you're going to pretend to do. Well, you're not going to pretend, you're going to actually have to make that sound. So without the coin in your hand, all you're going to do is miming that you have that quarter in this hand. You're going to toss it hard. They won't see it. They can't see it because it's not there. But even if you did it with a real coin, you do this in front of a mirror, you can't see it because it's going so fast. So that's why this illusion is so good. So when you make the toss, you're going to take your fingers and you're going to slap them against the palm of your hand. Listen. So you want to time it with a toss and a catch, and then a toss and a catch, toss and a catch. There you go. That's what it sounds like. Then you're going to give them the choice, heads or tails, or none of the above. The coin completely vanishes. If you want to end there, you can roll up your sleeve, show that the coin is gone, or you can reproduce it out of your pocket just like this. And you have a really, really fun trick to do for your friends. Try this out, practice this a little bit uh, in front of a mirror, get the pantomime of holding that coin and the sound of your fingers clasping against your palm, and you'll be off to the races. Have a blast with this one. Now, be sure to stick around for just another minute or two because I'm going to show you how to play heads or tails for real and win the toss every single time. That's coming up in just a second. A tails every single time. Let's go down to the table and I'll show you how to win at heads or tails. All right, so this is a regular toss of a coin with no chance of winning uh, the same every single time. So that one was a heads, that one was a heads, 
Let's see what we can get one with the tail. Well, there's three heads. I didn't do that on purpose. Now, the difference between the two is you hold your coin at 90 degrees when you're doing a regular flip and you put your thumb underneath there, obviously, and the coin flips up. Now, this coin flips up and rotates along its axis this way. What we're going to do different to make sure you win, we're going to take that 90 degrees and you're going to turn it into a 45 degree angle. So now when you flick, the coin is actually going to almost go up in a straight position and the chances are very, very high that it's going to come down and land exactly because of the angle that it's at. It'll land exactly at tail. So let's give it a shot. This is the 90. We just change our hand angle slightly and this is what it should look like at about a 45 degree angle like this off the side of the thumb and it lands in a tails just like that. We'll try it again. Not 90 degrees, 45 degrees. You can use your index finger to kind of help that from falling down. Clip it on the side about a 45 degree angle and tails again. This is going to take some practice guys but you will get it eventually. Well, make sure you practice this one in front of a mirror a few times before you perform it for anybody. Uh, you don't have to do that bonus section at the end if you don't want to, but boy, oh boy, it's a lot of fun when you get that little knack down of flipping that coin and winning every single time. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel today and watching this video. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up down there. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and push the button you're here anyway, because I have a lot more fun things coming your way here in the near future. Hey, until next time, I'm your host, Presto Paul, and remember, you gotta have fun. Fun! You'll live longer!